Okay, I want to do uh, this is part four of a five part series on special rights for my February 2014 class. And what we're going to do is uh, examine the, you know, the special rights real quick. Now we need to identify which kind of triangle we're dealing with. Previously it was Pythagorean, where you're given two sides, no angles, and we're finding the third side. And of course all of them has this right angle symbol. In isosceles you'll be able to identify using either two tick marks in the right angle or 45 and a right angle usually. Sometimes you can do it 45-45 and that's going to be 90 right there. Um, for the definition let's go ahead and show you the definition. So here we go. I'm going to kind of make that a 45. And real quick, um, I'll either have my tick marks. I have to have a right angle symbol. Ooh, that was a little big. Or a 45, okay? And the definition is basically I have a, a, a radical 2. And I take what I'm given and plug it into what I know or equal it to what I have on my definition. I'm given a leg. Again, the legs are the same. So I know I have a is equal to 8. Go ahead and solve for all three sides. So this is going to also be 8. And this is going to be 8. And you plug it in. You plug in the 8 right here. 8 radical 2. So this is 8 radical 2 on this side right here. That's what x is equal to. Okay. Take a look at another example. And again, let's look at our definition. Our definition is straightforward. Boom. A, A, A radical 2. Okay, and remember this is 45, but I know that because it's isosceles. And I'm just going to set this 10 opposite my hypotenuse to A radical 2. So I just have A radical 2 is equal to 10. Solve that equation. I divide by radical 2 on both sides. So a is equal to 10 over radical 2. I multiply by 1, just like we did in previous exercises. Radical 2 over radical 2. And I have 10 radical 2 over 2. Number plays with number. These, that's just a division line, so that's 10 divided by 2. And we have 5 radical 2. So this right here is 5 radical 2. And this right here is 5 radical 2. All right, and do I have another example? Yes, I do. So back to our definition. I'm going to show you this definition every single time. So again, I have my isosceles right, 45. And I have a, a, a radical 2. I'm just going to set this equal to what it corresponds over here equals to a radical 2. So my equation is a radical 2 is equal to 3 radical 6. I divide, I'm solving for a, so I divide by radical 2 on both sides. Radical plays with radical. Actually 6 divided by 2 comes out to radical 3. So a is equal to 3 radical 3. And that's exactly what I plug in right here under a and 3 radical 3 over here. Okay, so I'll stop this one, get it uploaded with the others, and we have 30, 60, 90s next.